while I was on the island for my adventuring and helping some other van lifers, uh, my solar controller had died. I had some issues with it before, but I was hoping that it would last before I got home. So it died while I was gone, so I went to Canadian Tire and picked up uh, another uh, solar controller, so at least I could charge my batteries, so I didn't have to worry about having the vehicle running all the time. I was planning on putting in the uh, Renogy DC to DC controller with built-in MPPVT controller and uh, one thing for reason is I wanted to use uh, the Renogy uh, lithium-ion batteries and also get the Renogy 2000 watt pure sine wave uh, inverter so this is something that will be added into the future but right now we'll be installing my new controller. As you can see I've already removed my house batteries and now I'm going to go around the other side of the vehicle and disconnect my truck batteries before I disconnect my battery isolator which I will not need anymore with a new controller from uh, Renogy. I managed to uh, remove the battery isolator. It was a little bit more work than I thought. Uh, screws in the back were really hard to get at. I guess the isolator was first installed before the rest of the equipment. But, uh, that's my isolator. It's out now. And I'm going to put some terminal blocks on the side where I can connect up the uh, battery connections and where I can reroute it to uh, my new uh, DC to DC charger. Uh, it's coming along nicely. I have my uh, Renogy DC to DC charger installed. I haven't hooked up the uh, solar array yet. Uh, I've also made a little cover and some standoffs. I thought I had some other ones in stock so I had to make something up to hold the, uh, the battery terminals and everything together. This is temporary. Uh, once I get uh, the new lithium batteries, I'll put putting the lithium batteries behind the driver's seat and then my truck batteries that's on the other side, I'll show you where they are. Um, they will be where my house batteries are right now underneath here. So I'm uh, going to hook up my uh, truck batteries now and then I'll uh, reinstall my house batteries before I hook up the uh, solar input to the controller. Okay, I've started my ambulance. I've checked that uh, I have got power from the alternator. It's going to the uh, truck batteries. Also have the lead from the uh, alternator into the DC-DC controller. And from the output of the controller to my house batteries. I've got the cover still off the uh, controller just so you can see everything. And I've got my uh, meter that came with the unit just to ensure that everything is working okay. Well, it's raining again, but uh, I got my little uh, tent up over the opening of my electrical panel and I've completed installing my Renogy DC to DC uh, charger with built-in MPPT. It's uh, got inline fuse for my solar panels and I've got a circuit breaker for my house batteries and my alternator input. I've got a... So that's done. I've installed a, you can see underneath here, a uh, Renogy hub so I can connect to my Bluetooth and my DC to DC controller. And my Bluetooth is up there. I'll be able to connect my Renogy lithium batteries and also I'm going to put in seeing a Renogy uh, 2000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. I did remove my battery isolator and I've just put a cover over my connections and eventually uh, when I do get my lithium batteries the lithium batteries will be behind the driver's seat and I don't have to worry about them getting too cold then and my truck batteries will be going where my house batteries are right now underneath there so those are future projects and when funding gets available I will have to be changing my uh, charger, 
this charger will not charge lithium batteries. So once I get the uh, lithium batteries, I'll be in a new plug-in charger. So that's something in the future as well. I wanted to install the uh, DC to DC controller display panel that came with the unit inside my uh, ambulance on the control panel. It works fine by itself um, if I plug right into the DC to DC controller, but since I want to tie other units into it, I uh, bought my uh, the Renergy Hub. The Renergy Hub, the, the primary port is powered to power the uh, Bluetooth but the other ports are not powered, they're just serial connectors, RS-485. So uh, to talk to this, I just had to do a little bit of a modification to the unit itself. I'll show you what I did. I um, just flip it over here, and the uh, ports are not powered, so what I did is I took power from the one port uh, through a diode just for protection, and I uh, tied the grounds together so I can actually power up my uh, display port. The issue is they won't run at both at the same time but I don't plan to uh, do that at the sec so I have that all modified and I'll be installing that shortly into the uh, vehicle. Now that I have my uh, Renogy uh, DC to DC charger installed I'm going to install the uh, app so I'm going to go Renogy DC home install open now it wants me to log in and sign off I will sign up I will do this offline Okay, I created an account and uh, logged in. Now I'm going to add a device. It's going to ask me yes, okay, while using this app. And I found a device, I can confirm. And there I have it. Here's my unit, flooded batteries, my house voltage, my st starter battery voltage, and the current draw and how many watts I'm drawing right now. I'm just going to change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And that's it. So that gives me this unit there. I can also go in and rename it. So I go, uh, I'm just going to call it Palette DC to DC. Oop, and I made a mistake there, but there we go. And save. So now we go on. And I have all the information I need. Close it off and close all the features off. Oop. I'm going to put this onto my home screen. All my other Bluetooth and Wi Fi modules. And we have it again. So that's perfect. So that's all done. Hub only has one uh, powered output for the uh, Bluetooth adapter. And uh, it's just a standard RS485 uh, hub. So uh, when I connect, and I'll just turn this on for now, show you to uh, connected it. And you can see it'll cut a reading in a second. And then you see the reading from the uh, house battery and the truck battery. Now, when I can turn on my uh, Bluetooth, it uh, cannot read it because it's uh, just a standard RS-485 uh, port. It's not um, isolated. So uh, it gives me some issues, but uh, if I turn it off and I'll just go back in.
and it'll give me the proper reading again. So uh, I can only have one thing running or the other. I might make the isolator so it does work. I'm not 100% sure. The reason I wanted the display because not always will I have my phone. It might be in the front charging. I might be listening to music on it. So it's just a this kind of another way of looking at it. So I'll play around with it in the future. Maybe I'm also uh, getting the uh, Renogy uh, battery meter and uh, we'll go from there. So that's my install. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can always email and I'm always glad to give people advice. Thanks a lot.